Welcome everybody, John here with ContraBIM and in today's tutorial we're going to be talking about how to create 4K high resolution images directly from our 3D window in ARCHICAD. So uh, the benefit of doing this is you don't have to waste time trying to render out a, uh, an image to get a higher resolution than what you actually have on your monitor. And um, yeah, it's also an alternative to having to purchase a high definition monitor. And when I mean high definition, I mean higher than the typical 1920 by 1080. I'm talking about 4K here. And so we can do that within ARCHICAD without having to, again, without having to render or buying that uh, larger display that gives you essentially more real estate on your screen. So um, let's start out by, uh, we'll essentially just kind of navigate to a view that um, will work for this tutorial. So I'm just going to pick kind of a, a bird's eye view here, looking at um, both sides of this project site. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just go and save a current view. And we'll notice down here the size of our 3D window is 1334 by 861. So that's the pixel size. It also matches the resolution size that's available. And so that's essentially the size of our image. So I'm going to go ahead and create that. And we'll drag and drop this image onto a layout that we've set up. And so we'll let that generate just real quickly. And there it is. Okay, so I'm going to go to that layout and I'm going to actually just shrink this down just slightly so we can fit it onto our view. And we'll notice that it doesn't look too bad, this, uh, this image. I would, you know, take this um, maybe for a draft format. Um, but if we zoom way in here, we'll see that, you know, our fence lines and some of our scaffolding and our this crane object is... Uh, really kind of uh, pixelated. So um, let's go ahead and we'll walk through the steps of creating a higher definition image. And we can do that really easily just by going back to our 3D view. And if we right click on the top here, we'll go into our set window size, which is a really a new uh, feature that um, Graphisoft added, I think in either version 20 or maybe 21 is when they added it. But if we go into our set window size, um, I always like to keep my proportions. So I'm going to lock them right there. And I'm just going to uh, increase the numbers of pixels in both the width and our height defaulted um, just because we had already locked those proportions. So I'm going to hit OK. And you'll notice that it actually expanded our window larger than what we have in um, available on this uh, display monitor. So um, if we actually go back and we'll save our current view, um, we can see that the size is now a much higher resolution uh, image or, or view. And so I'm going to actually just call this a 4K image and we'll create that. And you might notice that the view that we're looking at now um, is really it's the top left corner of the entire 3D window. So I could actually take this and I could start panning this entire window over. And it's actually you can see our layout behind there, um, but I can pan this all the way over. And there's the, the right corner of my image. And so now that we've saved this, we can actually just expand that. And even though we expanded this, it's still going to retain that higher resolution imagery. So let's go ahead and we'll drop this onto our layout and we'll do a quick comparison of the two. So because it's a high resolution, this one might take slightly longer than the other, but not too noticeable. Um, but what is noticeable is just the difference in um, resolution here. So if we look at the old one um, in that looking at that crane in particular versus the new one, much, much better resolution. So um, so yeah, anyway, I could always go back in and update the resolution settings of that window um, of that 3D view. But in this case, since we've already created a second one, I might just kind of rescale this down and fit it to my window size. And um, yeah, I could go through and, you know, maximize this, of course, if I wanted it to be slightly larger. Um, and then, you know, of course, we have a scale here. We could go into our title and turn all that stuff off. But, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So we've now placed a much higher resolution image onto a layout. But if you don't want to go through the whole process of creating a layout, maybe you just need an image. Um, we could actually just go back here and going to set my window size and again going to just increase this and we'll hit okay and then 
I'm just going to do a save as in this case, and I'll call this 4K image. So we'll save that out. And if I pull up that folder, where is it? There it is. So it's almost an eight megabyte image, which is uh, it's a pretty heavy uh, image file. Um, but if we go into our details, we can see that yes, it is that high resolution. And if we open it up, um, when we zoom in, we can see that we have a uh, yeah, nice clean resolution there. So, okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, then please do uh, make sure to do so. Um, if you like this type of content and you want to see additional videos that we will be producing, um, we have a bunch of short ones like this that we uh, uh, look forward to bringing to you here shortly. Um, and we also do a weekly live stream on YouTube where we take a lot more time um, and really walk through the workflows of um, a bunch of different um, BIM applications for all different trades of construction and uh, different logistics type type uh, modeling and um, just talking about in general how to use Archicad and BIM um, for construction and uh, construction management. So, okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I will catch you on the next one. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Uh, a lot more content coming your way. Thanks.